YouTube has a ton of settings that you can turn on and turn off. We're going to talk about the most important ones for you as you try to grow your channel and create more views to attract more of your ideal clients. You want to click on the logo here. And then once you do that on your channel, you want to click on the settings. Once you get the settings, you want to click on upload defaults. Now, these are the things that are going to be set with every video. Now, I'll, I'll talk about in another part of this video some uniqueness but let's go ahead and jump in here so if you have any common threads that you want to talk about or you want to share with your viewers every single time i you know have tools here that i recommend that i really have loved over the years as i've built my multiple channels i have those set up right here so again i don't have to type this every single time visibility this is an important one whenever you produce a video you want to set it to private so you can tweak it a little bit and allow YouTube's algorithm at least two hours to do its thing. You know, it's going to check for copyright violations and it's going to look for keywords and all the magic that the YouTube algorithm is going to do. If you have any default tags, you can set all those up here. Now let's click on the advanced settings section. Okay, here there's a couple of really, really important things that it's going to give you the ability to attract a larger audience and get more people to your channel. The first one is your license. The default typically here is a standard license and what you wanna do is you wanna move that to Creative Commons. And what you're doing here is you're giving other creators the ability to take pieces and parts of your video, you'll get credit for them, uh, and use it in their video content. And when they do that, YouTube will often refer people back to you in the related video. So again, this is a little strategy that you can use to create more exposure for yourself and to share your valuable content. Category, depending on that type of creator that you are, most of mine, because I focus on helping people generate leads and you know build trust online, I do a lot of how-to, but you know maybe it's comedy, maybe it's film, whatever your general thing is, overall, Mine is how to, so I leave my default setting as how to here. Uh, your language, pretty self-explanatory here. Comments, if you like comments and accept comments on a regular basis, go ahead and turn that on. If you have a very controversial uh, video or channel, you may not want to do that because people can get pretty colorful, colorful with their comments. All right, here's a few more settings here. Let's go ahead and click on channel and then advanced settings. And this is going to speak specifically to your audience. Uh, if none of your content is there for children, then, and, you know, the, the kids category is 13 and under, go ahead and set that to no, and that way you don't have to click that every time you upload any of your content. Allow people to take some of your clips. It's kind of like the Creative Commons that we just talked about. I leave that on, and that's pretty much it there. So let's go and look at an individual video now. Here, we're gonna click on the little pencil. And you'll notice here that uh, my screen might look a little bit different from yours when you do the editing. I have TubeBuddy here loaded and I also have vidIQ. What I love about vidIQ is it gives me the ability to optimize each and every video so that I maximize my exposure. I'll put links for vidIQ and TubeBuddy below the description. Both of them have free trials, check it out. If you wanna grow your channel faster and your audience faster, I highly recommend these tools. Now here you'll notice I have a find it fast. I call that a find it fast index. These are basically timestamps that allow people to go to certain parts of your video. So again, depending on what you're talking about here, they have to be a minimum, the sections, 10 seconds long. So you can see mine here, down below here, you'll see in just a second where YouTube has the ability to create AI based chapters. That's not that accurate. You want to manually do this. So go ahead and watch your video and just be sure you start at zero. And there's at least a 10 second um, interval, if you will, between each of these you know, sections of your video so people can jump to that. Uh, you'll see here some of my default settings that we just talked about. Here's the adding chapters. That's what you don't want to do. Um, you want to have you want to do that manually here thumbnail analyzer again this is a tube buddy function i will tell you 
this is not part of a setting, but you always want to create a, uh, a manual um, customized thumbnail. I use something like Canva to create that. It just is going to flow a lot better for you. You also always want to add your video to a playlist. And the whole goal of a playlist is you want to string several videos together so your viewers are going to stay on your channel longer and YouTube is going to give you a lot more love. Uh, again here, you saw this in the um, uh, default settings for every upload. This is not designed for kids. Again, I don't have to check that because it's already checked. Uh, altered content, this is AI. You're probably not using AI in your video content now, so just leave that blank. Automatic chapters, you don't want to do that because again, the AI is not that great there. And then you have your tags. You know, three, five years ago, tags were super important. They're not as important as they once were. Uh, YouTube really focuses now on your thumbnail image and the view time. So again, it's all about you delivering quality content to your audience here. And again, you see uh, TubeBuddy has lots of different tags that you can add on there your language your captions um, again a lot of this stuff was what we talked about in the default upload uh, i never really worried about video location or recording date allow embedding we kind of talked about that at the default setting uh, allow video uh, and audio to be remixed that's fine there's my how to setting again i don't have to change that because it's already set and my comments is already turned on because that was set in my uh, default setting so that's a high level overview of the settings that you need to maximize the view and you know allow you to create YouTube videos faster by using some of these streamlined settings that will maximize your views and save you a ton of time as, as we go along. So if you got value, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you're a small business owner and you're wanting to grow your business, the number thing, the number one thing you can do to grow your business is to start collecting client testimonial video. So go ahead and watch this video here, or here, or here, wherever it is, I think it's over here. And it's super easy to collect client testimonial videos and you can put them on YouTube and all over your social media to uh, attract more of your ideal clients. Until next time, Jerry Petrovic here, bye-bye for now.